I have a lot of unboxings today. As you guys can see, uh, the post office evidently decided to wait forever to get me all my stuff. But anyway, let's get to it. So the first unboxing I have today is from Mad Bear Beauty, and I love their stuff. And so let's go ahead and see what's in here. I've done several um, demos for their products, and they're very colorful products. And so I can't wait to see what I have in here. I've been trying to not order as much stuff, but I think I had I fell off, I fell off the wagon maybe a day or two this month, <laughs> and I ordered a few things. So let's see what I ordered from there. There, and as usual. Packaged very nicely. And then oh, wrapped super nicely. So I saw um, this item on Instagram and I had to have it. This thing was, it's called a toucan. And so it was so super colorful. The colors that came out of it that I just can't wait to demo it. Let me get up closer so you can see the uh, label. But it was so super colorful, the embeds, that I really cannot wait to demo it. I cannot wait. It smells super fruity. So, yes, Fruit Loops scent, which smells like one that I just demoed. So I might wait a day or two before I demo this one. Um, but I cannot wait. It was so super cute um, when I saw it that... I, I had to place an order. So that's the only product that I ordered, but I do see that there are two other items inside my box, which um, I guess they are samples, or she has sent them from the kindness of her heart, which is great. Sometimes that happens with some of the vendors. Um, I mentioned in a video I made the other day that I don't um, do this in exchange for free product, but if if a vendor decides to send me free product, I'm not going to say no. They do understand that I'm still going to demo it and review it the same as I would any other product, and they expect that. They don't want me to um, sugarcoat anything. That said, I'm sure it's going to be amazing because Mad Bear is amazing. But this item right here is really uh, unique looking. It's called Cupcake. And so there's, it looks like the ones that usually have a hole in the middle but um, instead it just looks like the frosting on the top of a cupcake. And here's the label. Mmm, I might try this one very soon. And then here's a super metallic-y cosmic bath bomb. This one is called, yeah, cosmic bath bomb. Um, I thought it was gonna be called cosmic something else, but um, Look how pretty that is. The shimmery color. I don't know if you guys, if I can might maybe get it up closer, you can really see the shimmeriness of it. So that is Mad Bear Beauty. And here is her logo. And I'm telling you, I'm going to do demos in uh, the days to come. And uh, if you watch the demos for her, pardon my jacked up nails, but if you watch the demo for her, any of her products, you will not be disappointed. Mad Bear Beauty is amazing. Okay, since I have many more unboxings to do, I'm take, I've taken the liberty of opening a few boxes um, just to, in the sake of time. So this next box is from Simple Aromas Bath and Body. And I got a nice invoice, which is great because I can tell you how much this stuff costs. And on here, there, in here there is a coupon. For if you leave them honest review, you can receive 10% off your next purchase. Um, so that's great, an honest review, which is what I do. And it was packaged very nicely. I've opened a few of the products actually already um, because I started to do the, review, uh, the, op the unboxing and then I realized I probably need to save some time. So um, the first item that I pulled out of here was packaged in a, a nice little baggie. Um, with like a little uh, mesh tie on it and everything. But 
I had opened it up because I wanted to show you guys closer what it looked like. It has a little lemon slice on it and a little like bath frosting. And it's called Lemon Berry Moisturizing Bath Bomb with Shea Butter and Cocoa Butter uh, Bubbling Bath Melt. And it is $6, which is a great bargain. And I saw some of the demos on her Instagram and it looks uh, like it, it's going to end up amazing. So I may use one of these sooner rather than later, but it has like little shavings on it. And uh, if you can see up closer and like a little raspberry or black raspberry in the middle of it. It's really super cute. I love it. And then the second item that I purchased was a pretty simple item, but I loved the, the demo that I saw on it. And it's um, called Sugar Plum Moisturizing Christmas Bath Bomb with Cocoa Butter and Shea Butter. And so this one has sort of like a gold star in the middle of it. And it's just a simple striped um, pink and like a purple or like a darker pink with a shimmery gold star in the middle. And then it looks like she sent an extra bath bomb and it reads on the receipt. I'm sorry, that was also uh, $6. I'm sorry, that was $5, which is an extra really good price actually. Um, and then she sent a little gift for my granddaughter. Who doesn't love Layla? And so this one has gummy bears on it, if you can see. I'm gonna get up a little closer has gummy bears on it and it uh, is not listed on here so I'm not really sure what it is or the pricing but it's a nice little gift for my granddaughter and thank you very much she will appreciate it she loves her little bath bombs and then finally inside here there is a sample of one of her um, cocoa butter creams so again we had the uh, lemon berry moisturizing bath bomb we had the sugar plum fairy moisturizing christmas bomb and who cares if it's not christmas a bath bomb is a bath bomb that's why i ordered it because i don't care and then she sent a pretty little um gummy bear bath bomb for layla and of course the sample so that's all that i have for simple aromas this next one is from mad in macbeth as usual packaged very nicely with some candy on the top thank you very much thank you very much i love the candies cherry yum layla's gonna love that candy she's gonna love this lollipop um nice receipt Thank you, and I really love Madame Macbeth. Madame Macbeth was one of the very first companies that I actually reached out to. I think she was like the third bath company that I reached out to of the um, indie companies that I reached out to. Uh, it was uh, Sweet for Fuel. I'm sorry, Sweet Shop of Horrors was the first indie company. Then it was Sweet for Fuel. Then um, there was another creepy company that I reached out to. I um, can't remember the name of it. I haven't been back, obviously. And then there was Madame Macbeth. So she was the fourth company I ever reached out to, um, and I haven't looked back. i purchased from her ever since. All right. So what have I ordered here? The Black and Blue Bath Bomb. See if that's no, I'm sorry, the blue eyed girl. Let's see if that's what I pulled out. I think I pulled out the blue eyed girl. Yes, that's what I pulled out the blue eyed girl. Blue eyed girl, Madame McBath um, always has, let me tell you, the bath bombs that you see. It's just a simple, looks like a simple blue and uh, purple bath bomb, but the bath show that it gives you is crazy. I cannot wait to try it. They are like my favorite color show um, non-shaped uh, bath bombs. And then the second item that I ordered definitely was not bought. 
was the January bath bomb. I'm sorry, that first item, by the way, that first item was $6. And if you're a regular follower of mine, you know that Madam and Bath does a bath bomb of the month every single month. And this month was a beauty. And the bath bomb of the month is always $3. This one is called Surprise Me. And the scent on this one is Red Apple, Golden Necker, Nectar, Golden Necker, Golden Nectar, Berries, Mandarin, Orange, Cinnamon, and Amber. And look at the colors on this. A lot of golds, uh, um, gold, pink, blue, and then the colors on the bath bomb itself. There, this is going to be a nice color explosion. And uh, $3. Surprise me. I don't think I showed you the actual uh, label on this one. All right. Again, $6, $3. And then I ordered one more. I think I'm catching the cold. I got the sniffles. Is the Black Cherry... I'm sorry, the black and blue bath bomb. And the reason I got this is because it wasn't round, honestly. I'm not going to say that Madame Bath doesn't do shapes. If you, again, are a regular follower of mine, you will know that they do, they do uh, go outside of the, the normal shapes. However, this one just really caught my eye. This was just unique to what they normally do. And so I wanted to see what it does. I love the color. This was my mother's favorite color. Rest in peace, mommy. And it's called black and blue. This one was $6.75. Now it looks like there's something else in here. And it is, oh, okay. This must be a, Sample. Yes, it is a sample. It's a sample of the Heartbreaker Bath Bomb. Oh, look how pretty it is. Wow. It's beautiful. So, like I said, they do do shapes a lot. That said, I love these guys. I love these guys. I love the non uh, the non shaped ones from them. And then there's a sample of White Tea for Me Bubble Bar. All right, that's it for uh, Madame McBath. Again, we had the January bath bomb at $3, which was, surprise me. We had the Blue Eyed Girl. We had the Black and Blue. And then we had the sample of, what was it called again? Heartbreaker. And the sample of the Bubble Bar White tea for me. And that's all today for Madame McBath. I'm going to put you on pause while I get the other, another box for this unboxing. So we have here the Big Meltdown. Love the Big Meltdown. Always creative. Always got really super cute things and I saw some super cute things so I had to order. I had not ordered from them in a while, and I have no idea why, probably because I was just over-ordered. As you guys know, I have a bunch of things, and um, looks like she sent a little pod of shimmer and glitter, which I love. I used one of these. This looks like a silver uh, glitter pill. I have to get up really close for you guys to see. Um, she sent a gold one with one of the previous... And I held on to it and held on to it. And finally, I was like, psh, threw it in my tub. And it was just glitter everywhere inside my tub. All right. So, I mean, it was, uh, sorry, packaged. And I said, I just broke the seal with my excitement. It was a seal. And there's lots of uh, decoration inside the box. So, packaged excellently as per the norm. And, oh, my gosh. Look at these. Look at these. I forgot what the name of them are um but it's uh i can't remember what the name of this is and there's no invoice that i can see in here but let me get 
my handy dandy Etsy out and then I can tell you guys let's see just had it open so so this is this is cute as a pool bath bomb set how cute is this this is a bath bomb set that was only six fifty. so they're on a stick and I'm sure my Layla's gonna want them there is a bow tie in one and then the poodle in the other how cute is that what kind of cute demo do you think can be made with this if I can ever use it look at this guy or girl and then the little bow tie adorable all right moving on because I don't know how much memory I have left in here and then she layered a, another layer of paper because I actually ordered something else that I think would be a little fragile. Then I ordered the Kissing Fish Bath Bomb Set. This was actually a little more expensive. This was $13.50. However, look at these. So this is another set. Kissing Fish Bath Bomb Set. This was $13.50. And that's all that I ordered from uh, the Big Meltdown. Let me make sure there's no samples in here before I get rid of the box. Oh, there is. Uh, oh, a little whale. That's really cute. I'm assuming it's for Layla. Let me see if there's a card in here or something maybe. Oh, the invoice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It just says thank you. So, um... Layla would probably love to have this in her tub though. So I will make sure. Unless it can actually make for a cute demo with this. This is super cute. Again, we had the Kissing Fish set at $13.50. And then we had the Poodle set at six freaking fifty. Six freaking fifty guys. Amazing. Alright. Next up, we have, I'm not even going to pause for this one because I just need to keep it moving. Next up is Bethesda Boutique. Bethesda Boutique, packaged nicely. I'm making a huge mess. I'm glad I have a trash bag in here. <gasps> have you ever seen anything so lovely in your life? She knew how fragile this was, evidently, because she packed it as if it were super fragile. These lips, these lips, you guys, these freaking lips are going to be used tonight. I always say that and it never happens. However, these lips are going to be used tonight and it's going to happen. I'm not even going to put them away because they're going to be used tonight. Matter of fact, I need to put them somewhere. So that's Bethesda Boutique. I don't even remember how much I paid for them. And there's no invoice in here. Um, let me open up my Etsy and I'll tell you. That was $8.50. Did you see the detail on those lips? What did I do with the lips? Look at the color on the back of the lips. Just the back of the lips. So she has totally blended striped colors on here. I cannot wait. That's my bath tonight. So let me put that to the side over here. Next box. Oh, we're coming down to the last bottom of it. This is the last one I'm going to open on this unboxing video. I'm going to do that one totally separate. It's a big box. So this one is from, I think it's Pixie and Toad. Pixie and Toad? Wax melts. So it packaged well, but they're wax melts, so I can't imagine they'll be damaged. So what do we have here? Ooh, ooh. Wax melts. There's no invoice, so I'm probably going to count on my FC again. Oh, this thing is the reason why I ordered is because I saw this thing. Yes, this is a freaking wax melt. Wait till I show you. Who does this? Who makes this into a wax melt? Pixie and Toad, that's who. Look at that. Amazing. 
Um, oh, yo, that smells amazing. It's super glittery. That is called Pink Prosecco. All right, the next item is an owl. And it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And it's, oh, it smells so good. This is Pink Sugar Strawberry Owl. Beautiful, no? I think so. It's got a little uh, goldfish colored in gold on there. It smells amazing. Pixie and Paul, guys. Next up, oh, how cute is this? This one is called Banana and Whipped Cream. Oh my gosh. Look how cute this is. It is a little banana tart. And it smells like banana candy with whipped cream on it. Oh, I can't like this in the house on the day that I'm hungry because that's what ends up happening. It's like, why'd you like that when you're hungry? Now you're going to eat everything in the house. Pixie and Toad is just beyond amazing. This one is um, evidently so fragile, they had to put it on like a piece of cardboard. So I'm not going to open it up. It's called Dalliance. And it looks, oh my gosh, look at it. Can you see the rose on the top? It's, it looks like a piece of cake or something with a rose on the top. And it is scented in sweet vanilla cream, orange blossom, cedar wood, cedar wood, and patchouli. Can't smell it through all the wrapping, but if they've packed it this well, there's a reason for it, and I will not unpack it until it's time. Then we have warm apple cider. And it is just a scented cup, a wax cup. Mmm, oh my gosh. That smells like fall, actually, which is my all-time favorite season. And finally, I just thought these were just very creative. These are summer sipping blue raspberry slushies and cherry slushy fizzy pop. But they just looked really cool to me. So that's all that we have for today's unboxing. So let me go over these products one more time for this last box. We have this adorable, what is it now, Frappuccino? It is Prosecco, pink Prosecco. We had this banana tart. We had this beautiful owl. Is it an owl? It's an owl. What am I talking about? I called it an owl the whole time. It's a cat. It's called Purty Kitty. What am I talking about? It's a cat with a little goldfish. What would an owl be doing with a goldfish? I don't know. We had this uh, dalliance. We uh, had this warm apple cider. And finally, the summer sipping. So that's all that I have today for the typical unboxings of wax melts and bath bombs. The other box that I have there is a monthly box. So I will do that separately. All right, guys, that's all for these unboxings. Talk to you later.